everybody, Brent from Brent Speed. Thanks for watching Brent Speed TV. It's three valve Wednesday. Today it's an 06 GT Whipple Supercharged. We are gonna talk a lot more about it. But hey, this car came in, this client bought it used. Ran horrible. So we have a service here, it's kinda of like a diagnosis, like let you know what, what'd you buy? A lot of people call and say, I just bought this used car, I don't even know what's on it. So you can bring your car in, figure out what he bought, but this thing had some melted cats. It had some bad sensors, some wiring messed up. So what we did is we cured that problem and then we installed a set of our Detroit rocker camshafts and then tuned the Whipple Supercharged 3 valve. So hey, we're gonna watch a dyno pull. If you haven't, please subscribe and notify us safe today. Let's go take a look. All right, before we go take a look, I gotta let you know something, you're gonna like this, but this Whipple Supercharger has been discontinued. A lot of you watch these videos and they're old, you're like, hey, I want that. They've, they no longer, they haven't made this in a while. The Roush Supercharger, we used to do a ton of discontinued. So the go-to right now, if you want an instant boost supercharger, is the Elderbrock. And we do have those on our website. We'll put a link in the description so you can like open it up and look about the Detroit Rocker camshafts, the E4 Supercharger. But here, Doug, come down, take a look. This Whipple right here is only about seven, eight pounds of boost. It has a very strange pulley setup on it. I think this is a system maybe Steeda made back in the day. I don't think they make it anymore. But 7.8 PSI, we installed colder spark plugs, but it's the intercooled Whipple Supercharger Kit. The sweet Lopi Detroit Rocker camshafts. This does have a set of shorty headers on it, so no long tubes. And then we did a pipes, catted H-pipe to fix the melted cap problem this car had when the client bought it. Check out this dyno pool. All right, I know I'm talking quick. This is gonna be a short video, but you can open that description, like I said, and you can look at what are the Detroit Rocker cams. You can read a lot more about them. But over here, we have 467 rural horsepower SAE on our Dynajet, picking at 6,300 RPM. Torque comes in at 420, well within the area I like to be at 4,600 RPM. And I am gonna put a link at the end of this video of a video I made, you know, what's too much on a three valve Mustang? You can click on it, read a lot more about it. Just an 06 straight rocker cams, TVS style. Well, this is more like a twin screw, but supercharger making really good power. Shorty headers, high flow cats. It's a fun car, 93 octane Mino transmission. So if you have any questions, leave a comment, have an answer. You can email quote at brentspeed.com and say, hey, I have a car like built, what's it cost? Or maybe you bought a used car, you didn't even know what's on it. Or maybe it's got problems. It's something we can take up here. Email quote at brentspeed.com to see the price on that. Thanks for watching.